What ignited your passion for space exploration? I uh, am a kid of the 60s, so I grew up watching the space program develop right before my eyes. And when we landed on the moon, I was hooked. I said, uh, I want to be an astronaut. Now, I, I, in an audience like this, that's really diverse, I, it, it would be um, um, unwise for me to not talk about the period of time. Remember I said I grew up as a child of the 60s, which meant uh, I could see some of the greatest accomplishments uh, for human beings going to the moon, going in space and going to the moon, but I could turn the channel on the little black and white television and see black people fighting for their rights. And so I sometimes think about what, you know, what was going on in this little kid's mind during that time. We saw that dichotomy of great achievements, but struggles at the, at the same time. It, it must be interesting to view the Earth from that perspective. Right? Very few people get to do it, to see, to go around every 90 minutes and see different parts of the world, see the rainforest, see the coastlines. That must just be a fascinating thing. And it must, your perspective on the Earth and in life in general must be different after having that experience. I remember on, on the spacewalk, looking at that view, so we're going around the Earth, if you can imagine that, and then behind the Earth, of course, is this sea of stars called the, uh, the, the uh, Milky Way galaxy, right? And it is so beautiful. And I remember that this must be the way in which God sees us on this planet. Oh. Now, I'm not the first person, again, to, to say this, but looking down at the Earth, you don't see lines of latitude and longitude. You don't see letters that say Germany or Russia or the United States on it. And it just gives you this great sense of togetherness and this notion that we should not be concerned about our differences, but we should be concerned and focus on those things, our, our commonality.